this is a monotherapy study of a drug called quizartinib, which is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, so-called TKI, directed against the enzyme FLT3, that's FLT3. Uh, AML patients uh, have this enzyme mutated in their leukemia cells about a quarter or a third of the time, and it leads to a very proliferative, sort of angry version of the disease, if you can think about that, getting even angrier AML. Uh, and leads to a, uh, exceptionally poor prognosis. So the drug is designed to be a very potent selective inhibitor. There have been prior attempts to do this that have not succeeded, largely because the drugs were not selective or potent enough. Uh, this one in a phase one trial looked quite promising, so we expanded it to a phase two. 271 total patients divided into two cohorts. Cohort one was an older patient population that had failed their first line of therapy. Uh, and cohort two consisted of a, uh, patients over the age of 18 who had failed two lines of therapy and were truly a very resistant refractory group of patients that had really a very short time to live with, with no meaningful curative options. Uh, the patients took the drug a single dose daily, uh, quite well tolerated. Uh, the toxicities were as expected. We knew about this thing that it uh, caused QT prolongation, something we've seen from other agents in this class. It did not cause any um, uh, deaths due to this toxicity and was easily manageable with simply lowering the dose. And in fact, in retrospect, looking at all the data, our dose is too high. Uh, we actually, the drug is so well tolerated, we're giving the dose higher than we need to to actually get the effect. And the effects that we saw were quite gratifying. Uh, there was a 46% complete uh, composite complete remission rate. And what does that mean? These were not classical remissions. What they did was dramatically clear out the leukemia from the blood and marrow. In fact, they did it very rapidly. You didn't get recovery of bone marrow, uh, of, of blood counts, um, typically while the patient was on the drug. However, the patient's leukemia was completely controlled, um, and while they were continuing to receive uh, transfusion support in the clinic, this was all outpatient. They basically were coming in having, with minimal side effects, doing quite well.